been killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. Oh, that's not any type of ship I recognize. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Starfield here on your professional walkthroughs channel. So we managed to ta take off from Neon, and we came across this weird spaceship, which nobody knows where it came from. Uh, identify yourself. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Uh, call yourselves whatever you want. You're just thief to me. Have you been observing humans for long? You're growing impatient. Cease your attempts to stall for time. I'm not giving you shit. But you speak our language. We know everything about you. That is why your kind cannot have the artifact. At least tell us who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. I'm not Which giving you anything. You are be dangerous. Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Okay. Full evasive maneuvers. Let's get the fudge out of here. I'm going to jettison the artifact. Yeah, let's get the fudge out of here. Hold on. I cannot switch. And they are somehow completely behind me. What the fudge is that? I'm not giving up that easy. But this camouflage is quite fancy. But I've never heard of these star The speculation part of my brain is an overdrive. We need to regroup at the lodge immediately. Tell Noel to analyze the data off the ship's sensors. Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. I'm looking forward to it. Does it mean we're going to get access to a whole new potential build for a ship? All I wanted to do is record some off stuff just so that I have footage, but no! You're gonna force me to take off from Neon and ran into God knows what! I've never heard of these stuff. Speculation part of my brain. Let's try to repair the ship. You need to regroup at the lodge immediately. Let's hope Tell the Noel game won't crash. The data off the ship's sensors. Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. Wee! Okay. Let's hope this time the game won't crash. I'll get to Alpha Centauri. And to the lodge we go. Yeah, I was really hoping just to do some side gigs. And take a look at a few things. But maybe since we're going to be on the planet, we can join uh, the UC Vanguard or whatever they called. 
Since I'm already a uh, ranger, why the hell not, you know? You will not believe what just happened. How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? I need you to look at data from my ship sensors. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel. They not say everyone. Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Why do I need to see her stats? What Sam that starship design could easily be human. To Barrett's point, artifacts clearly aren't human made. Why can I select this? No settled systems lab made these things. And I doubt one of them made that ship either. So we got some weird extra dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their if weapons, shields, reason, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. Okay, everyone should get ready for a fight then. I will doubt they'll stop. Shouldn't we try to locate the Starborn and see if they'll talk? I go with the second one. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Well, this is gonna be certainly interesting. So far, every quest I have been doing leads to another subset of quests or requests or missions or things that need to be done, so... I'm gonna drop this in and we're almost at level 21. Yes. And I have like three people who wanna talk to me. You had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Yeah, I'm just afraid that they can easily attack the goddamn station because it looks like it has zero defenses. But I don't know. I'm ready. Give me data of the artifacts Double you have. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Roger, roger. So... You know, the way you handle things... Not bad. What you want to talk about? 
So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? I think you're doing your family proud. <laughs> well, that's a first. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. I still don't want you on board, sorry. On itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. Sounds like you aren't happy being related to him. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there uh, there was a time, well before Korra, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Korra to... I don't know. Become a functional adult? Every parent wants their children to learn from their mistakes. That's some serious parenting thoughts there, Sam. Yeah, yeah, let's see if you can do better with her. Some days I think she's half feral. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? I'm the worst. Uh... There's hidden death. Lure. I have my wiles, Mr. Ko. Uh... You know, sometimes I can crack jokes in real life with guys just to make them a little uncomfortable. But I'm not gay, so you really do have heart of an explorer. You say the damnedest things. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Still not sure where this was meant to go, but okay. What you got, sir? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? I had visions, heard sounds, and music. It's difficult to describe. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Like my mind and body were out of sync, powerful like raw energy was cursing through my veins. It was like being instantaneously pulled across entire galaxy. Oh my goodness. That must have been terrifying. I don't know, I'm making shit up. When it up. comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how the science... well simply fails uh okay i'm sure there's perfectly rational explanation for them if there is the artifacts are doing a heck of a job hiding it the artifacts are so different so alien and i'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you quite the mystery okay this is gonna lead to another flirtation there's a solution to all this out there somewhere. Is there? Well, after spending years gathering data about the artifacts, you'd think I'd have all the answers. Well, uh, perhaps you're not getting enough support from your colleagues. What sort of data have you gathered? Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Okay. Is the only project you've been working on at Constellation? Oh, no, not at all. There's so much going on there, I can't afford to divert all of our resources. But I have classified the artifacts as a priority project. Okay. Uh, it's certainly a unique obsession. Does that really surprise you? A universal mystery left unsolved for God knows how long? Oh, I've been dreaming about solving this puzzle from the beginning. Okay. 
Dan will get to the bottom of the mystery together. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Yeah, I've learned the Dragonborn shout in space. I was a freaking miner before. That's a hell of a promotion. Sorry, I was lost in the memory for a moment there. How can I help? And Alrighty. I really want you to join me. Oh. Honestly, I wanted to travel to one of the systems. I still don't remember the goddamn name of the shipbuilder, but I wanted to try and build the ship from one of the uh, shipbuilders who are responsible for actually being client of like the government and uh, just in general providing the fleet with military ships. So they, uh, Demos or Demos or whatever they're called, I was thinking about maybe trying them out in order to assemble a ship. I will still need to go into the, uh, I think it's gonna be either uh, some something in the Starship design or somewhere else for me to be able to actually get the more advanced things. Starship engineering. Or ship design. I'm not really sure which one. But definitely will have to invest into this tree. I was definitely thinking about piloting as well. The science is just calling my name constantly. I have been kind of uh, not really investing in here. And I definitely want to invest into the rifle certification as well. In here, I definitely want to go with the commerce more. And of course, I will need to be overcumbered in order to level up the weightlifting skill a bit more uh, currently i'm at 137 out of 190 so when in rome i wanted to see if i can join the uc vanguard i don't really recall where the hell did they have their branch but i think we spoke to them somewhere in here and it's another achievement, it's another section of quest that we can probably access this way. What the hell is going on in here? It's like some sort of memorial. Oh crap. Yeah, I did not want to do that, damn it, to hell? Please don't tell me I'm gonna go all the way back to some. I I I, I effed up there. I, I just forgot that you have to go to like map. Oh fudge! I have to do this shit again. Okay, so chances are I'm gonna not get this correctly. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here. We've only talked to the guy here once. I don't know if I'll be able to join the Vanguard through here, but let's see if I'll be able hey, to do it. Sarah's friend. You come to enlist at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard? Okay, I'm game. Just tell me what I need to do next. What exactly is Vanguard? Or the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet. Any captain can join, regardless of origin. Get to fly your own ship and earn credits as you help the people in the most distant reaches of the United Colonies. All while earning your way to UC citizenship. Put in the time, and citizenship is guaranteed. Uh, it sounded like Starship Troopers, but okay, I'm game. Well, alright. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I probably would rather talk to a person than a stupid terminal, but... 
that's what you'll tell me to do, I guess I don't have a choice. Most of the episode is basically nothing anyhow because I have been dealing with crashes and having to redo the same fight three times. That's entertaining. IMAX will agree. Explore the orientational hall. Registration accepted. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall or continue on to the examination. In 2050, humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century. Oh, damn. Eliminating all life on the planet. Damn. Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of an entire civilization would demand a new kind of cooperation, a new kind of courage, and a new kind of union. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. Just one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, touched down here on Jemison, beginning a new era of human history, the age of the United Colonies. Okay. Yep. Yep. And, uh... I'm somewhere over there. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh. Damn, we used to actually have this suit. It's quite nice. It was only in 2230 that the faction known as House of Arun first made contact with the rest of the settled systems. The Freestar Collective was initially founded in 2188, when the citizens of the in 2240. House Varun forces declared all out conflict war on the rest amongst of the, the stars of the many conflicts between the galaxy's factions. None was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized God. Freestar Get colonization of look at this mech. in 2308, a direct what violation the of the shit Union is this TV. thing? The you know it was some youth frame general that condemned Lundini? gave it over to these things. Both One of these murals said he was executed after the war. What the shit is this? Mechanized combat no one knows how they mix between planets. After the devastation wrought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as my mother wanted me to be a doctor. It was into this new world that the Vanguard was born. Well, that's a better design than I came up with. I'll just press all these buttons. I think that counts as exploring the whatever. The optional thing. Damn, these are some interesting designs. Still don't see a Starship Destroyer. Okay, and hopefully I won't F it up too much. But there's an achievement for this somehow. This is the Mark 18 Flight Simulation Chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. Okay. Let's see what are we working with. Target's active. The thing is, I don't really tend to use some of the weapons. Whoa. This thing can move. I don't really see like shields or something. 
I don't know if there's some sort of objective. Guessing tier two is gonna have two enemy ships. Once you start moving beyond like three ships. New targets active. That stuff gets tricky. Let's see if we can get on its six. damn shields but I gotta be careful here because if my shields get disabled and I don't have spare parts I'm in deep trouble now I suddenly cannot get in front of anyone or behind anyone Positioned here. Terrible performance. on my end. It'd be awesome if they would like separate or something. be careful when I'm like this because that does not mean that I am not gonna get attacked but man I'm used to a different weapon system and it's showing the issue is I'm not sure who's where if it's two ships one ship smack into an asteroid Is this your first time yes this is my first time with the Delta I think I accidentally got in front of them this is your time. no it's not I'm stubborn like crazy. You have no idea. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier 3 reached. Congratulations, applicant. You've defeated sufficient opponents to pass the exam. You may now exit the simulator through the hatch to record your current score. Or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. Yeah. I'm gonna record my score even though it's gotta be total BS nothing I cannot take stuff no Resuming the examination New targets active what the hell are you talking about I want to leave Shut down. leave and record my whatever performance congratulations applicant you've passed where do I record my to stuff? To Walla to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Okay. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. We'll only keep your best run. I'll go talk to the lady.
Okay. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Yeah, I don't really care. Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data, checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? All right, clear tier three. We try to set a high bar, so that's no small feat. Nice work. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 200 years. 10 years service. Ah! Better than your average lab rat or diplomat, but pretty standard for folks going out into combat. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. Oh my god. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? Uh, sure. Fantastic. Fuck it. Then just follow me. As long as I don't have to get a tattoo or something weird and I can just say whatever I say and cross my fingers behind my back, I'm fine with it. Why are we going outside, man? Oh my god, when I came here the first time, there were a bunch of knuckleheads reciting something. Why do I have to do this outside? Couldn't we have done it inside in front of the desk? There's not even a stage. You're not gonna get me from the right angles this way. I look prettier with better lighting. Man, you are really not good with jokes, huh? Okay, let's do this shindig. Like doing this where we couldn't see the skies. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities, and to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance, in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? Uh, but for you, fine. I guess I'll take it. <laughs> then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United <laughs> Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left I'll is getting you that it. probationary mission. <laughs> that's what and she what said. What I've got is comp repair. We're oh, trying to refurb an old an colony idiot. war processing plan on Tau City too. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti II count on you? Hell yeah! Let's do this! That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Ooh. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. Ultra Festival was super, or w whatever you said. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Okay, uh, but we finally leveled up. Uh, do I want to go with commerce? I really want to get something into the weapon system. The the particle beams. I don't know. Like uh, originally, I thought I want to go like lasers and particle beams, but I've tried some of the particle weapons and they freaking sucked. So I think I want to go with like uh, combat hunting or some of that stuff, or I want to go with piloting, hip thrusters. I don't really care about the booster pack. Ballistic ship weapons have 10% increased damage cost, 10% targeting mode, energy weapon systems, energy ship weapons have to increase targeting mode. 
payloads, shields. Ship cargo holds have 10% more capacity. Oh yeah. I need to spend four. I'm gonna go with this. Make 10 grab jumps with 75. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make that real quick. Oh man. So if I have that mission selected, just the grunt work. Where exactly do they want me to go? Or do I still need to talk to someone at the... Probably still need to talk to someone. I really like the fact that the photos I take are appearing here. Why do you have to be so far away from my ship? I'm gonna be so angry if their ship is gonna be better than mine. Yeah, I like mine more. Here at all. Hey, well, it's a Luigi with the mustache. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. Ooh. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? No, boss. I'm all set. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. So, I want to go to my mission. There's one more location where I wanted to stop by. In the solar system. On Mars. The location where we went to. Oh. It, this looks like it's on... My god, what's the name of the city in the United States? They have an ornament like that. They tend to throw it around like it survives anything and everything. Apparently, there is an NPC here on Mars. And when we were with Sarah, or what's the name of the pilot from Constellation, uh, we were here in one of the pubs. And there is an NPC who is easily bypassed, and it's this knucklehead with all the paperwork. So apparently if we talk to this person, he will give us a specialized request where if we then go to any planet and talk to any NPC, we can recruit them for thanks. Let me know if you need something. Oh, hello there, friend. Have you been there long? Just got here. Oh, good. I thought maybe I'd fallen asleep. But, oh my, I've forgotten my manners. Phil Hill, at your service. Yes, it rhymes. My parents had a thing about rhyming. My siblings are named Phil, Jill, and Sill. The Hills. <laughs> what a thrill. But there I go again. You aren't here to talk about me. You're here to talk about List. Sure. Depends on what you're talking about. You know, silly. List. The League of Independent Settlers? Do I detect a glint of recognition in your eyes? I think so. How can I help make today your very best day? I'm looking for work? That's terrific, because I have a lot of work needing doing. This stack of papers here, these are just the most recent applicants looking for new worlds to settle on. 
Everywhere I go, people are really excited about the prospects of living a truly free life, living where and how they want to. I've got a cargo hold full of stacks just like that. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Not a huge fan of paperwork. <laughs> Not to worry. The mountains of papers are my responsibility. We're looking for folks with ships and or basic people skills to seek out suitable planets and leads on potential clients. I don't suppose you possess either of those qualifications? You're in luck. I have both the ship and basic people skills. You know, I can tell that you do just by the little we've interacted already. Bullshit. Most importantly, we need to collect data on habitable planets. The more habitable, the better. <laughs> you know, that oxygen and water are musts. Other signs of life, even better. Secondly, we're always looking for new applicants. So, as you travel around meeting people, when the occasion arises, see if you can interest them in signing up for the list. I'm pretty sure I overheard some people in here talking about wanting to start a new life. Why don't you start with them? Hey, I see what Excellent. I can do. Thank you for any assistance you could lend us. Whoops, <laughs> nearly forgot. <laughs> Take this. So apparently now when we interact with NPCs, we will have like a new option to interact. I guess you don't have to roll this many joints, huh? Hello, traveler. Will you join me for a while? You strike me as someone with an interesting story. Call it Scholar's Intuition. I have no idea what the Neurotronic Fusion does. Meeting a kindly stranger is always a blessing. What brings you to Sidonia? Uh, I'm talking to a guy with a lot of people or a lot of paperwork. Sightseeing on Mars. My intuition about you must have been correct. Most stop in Sidonia for the strong drinks at the Broken Spear. You must be more interesting than most people. Maybe we should travel together. I have to be going, but uh, book our. It's going to be a philosophical text about how the hell did I get to that? Between what? Science and the divine. Outpost engineering. I've been studying that relationship for years, and I want to preserve my findings for future scholars. Okay. I have Some to get time, going. Then. Trying to see who can be this person that would be interested in whatever, but work in the deep mines. Hey, hey, around the equipment. Apparently not. So yeah, we're gonna probably have to survey a habitable planet. And uh, talk to a citizen. How are you? Have a good one. Do you have room for one more on your crew? Uh, how much will it cost me? It's your area of expertise. I'm a fusion system specialist, meaning I can increase the overall efficiency of your ship's power plant to provide more energy. Okay, interesting. She had more skills to offer. I'm looking for work. You hiring? Uh, what's your area? Engineering is my specialty. I'm trained to optimize your repair systems to keep your ship up and running. Okay. I'm not really sure who am I supposed to recruit for this shindig. Top, top of the list. Sign up a settler for a list. Keeping busy out there? Hey, that's Lynn! It's been too long since we mined together, don't you think? Don't do anything stupid out there. I thought you were assigned to goddamn location. Fancy seeing you here. This life ain't easy. I'm trying to talk to this lady. There's something I can do for you? Uh, overhear your conversation. Okay. Persuade, uh, the League of Independent Settlers wants your help to start a new life. That does sound good. 
Too good to be true. Uh, and you sign up for the list, you're making a promise to yourself for a better future. People who sign up are cut above the rest, they deserve to be on the list. Trust me, I know, yeah, no, uh... What I'd be signing up for is constant harassment, is what I'm guessing. I've always believed that, deep down. It's easy to forget sometimes. I have one more chance, trust me. Let's go with this one. Newsflash. Dodge. All lives are hard. You done bothering me now? Get 500 credits. Look, just sign up for a mailing list and initials here. Seems like you got a good gig going there. I'll take your money. If it'll get you to leave us alone. <laughs> Survey a habitable planet. Whatever that means. Mining takes all tasks. So habitable. Apparently, uh, Earth is out of the question because we effed it up. And let's face it, it's probably our fault somehow. So... <laughs> A habitable planet. I don't know. This is an extreme environment. Why the hell did I think it's not extreme environment? Deep freeze. We're looking for something. Temperate. Moderate, moderate. So there's... Uh I don't know if it counts because there's Hope Town. Ah, we can try some different system. Altari. Altari 1. Gorged. Frozen. Cold. But it does have life signs. Bessel. Let's see. Vessel 3B. It's cold. There's no biological signs of life. Proxion A. It has flora fauna. So I don't know if I would need to like fully scan this sucker. It has a lot of creatures living there. And I would need to scan all these things. The problem is, of course, we have zero clue or idea where would these things be. So I can try to land here, see if this planet would be considered a livable location. It probably appears from if I'll have a helmet on or not. Yeah, I don't have a helmet on, so... We have to look for resources. We have to scan the creatures. Copper deposit. The fudge are these things? Oh, well, that's quite scary. Okay. Apparently. 
Don, I have hours into Starship Troopers. I think I'm afraid of some sort of bug. Thirty-eight percent, thirteen percent. Definitely don't want to build an outpost here. I would only get copper and water, which is disappointing. But I need to continue the scanning process. Just hope not every goddamn thing is gonna become violent. Try to kill me unless it's already dead. And that's a lot of copper. Neon has been apparently scanned already. There's copper, copper, copper. I'm missing this tetrafluoral something, whatever have you. The issue is I'm not really sure if it's going to manifest in here. Because if you go into like a specific biome, yeah, you, you're fudged. It's just going to keep giving you that specific one thing. So now if we would go with the husbandry, uh, chances are that I will be able to have that animal as a potential species. I still have to scan a whole bunch of stuff. Which honestly can take forever. And uh, yeah, it's just unfortunately that's how it works. But this is like so weird to me that such a big thing would be so well hidden in plain sight. Like there's just literally people claiming that you can go and never ever notice this guy. On Mars and you can go there quite a few times I have no clue what this is these knuckleheads have just killed everything huh well there's a new apex predator Holy shit! This thing packs a mean punch! Thank god I have so much ammunition to go around. Okay. So these predators have killed like everything that moves around here, huh? Just have to make sure to not get overcumbered, otherwise I'm kind of screwed. Because then I cannot fast travel. To my ship. And I would just have to walk for an hour. Seriously, swear to God, one freaking scooter or land vehicle would solve so many problems. It would just make the exploration a little bit less annoying. Okay, I, I think that's all the resources. So I'm missing still. Laura. I'm not guaranteed that everything is gonna be here. So I have to keep on going around. What the fudge is that? Okay, this is not for scanning. That's strange. Fortunately, don't see that many options here. I really have to upgrade that scanner. Increase the range from which I can scan, so maybe not to trigger these animals so easily. Have I completely scanned? Okay, now run.
Oh, that knucklehead did not decide to chase after me, so that's good news. I hope so. Please don't change your goddamn mind. Okay, herbivores. And these things were killed. 13%. Yeah, this is why that system would come in handy here. So these grazers are something that I need to scan. Just don't want to get too damn close. Or did you trigger them to attack? I said not too close to trigger an attack. What else? What else is there? 75% scanned. There's quite a lot of you knuckleheads in here. I do wonder if this would count. I think this is a habitable planet, to be perfectly honest with you. The only difference is I'm not really looking for uh, settlement here because the only things I would get is water and copper. But they requested water, so that is... I think something that I was able to fulfill with this. But I still need to scan the creepy crowies. Problem is, some of these creepy crowies are goddamn aggressive as hell. God damn it, I got nearly killed a few times. There's water. I really don't know if I would need to travel to different location. Hundred percent scanned. Do I seriously need to switch biomes? Twenty-five percent. Fortunately, I don't think it's gonna let me fast travel with an enemy nearby. And I just don't see anything else in here. If I kill these knuckleheads, I can then count it as a scanned creature, which gets added. To the data. I hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Copper or a fluorine. Yeah, I unfortunately probably lack the uh, outpost engineering of a higher rank in order for me to be able to make like a drill and other nonsense so i see this knucklehead i just want to scan it and then go the other way Still just copper, this is 100% scan. Quite a lot of you knuckleheads in here. Really? You, you have to be annoying. You, you know I don't want to use stim packs on you knuckleheads. I have to end up doing that anyhow. 88%, 78%, 78%, 78%. 
still need to probably kill one or do something. Then harvest this. Get all the hide and everything. question is if I can now harvest this because I scanned it for 100% which okay that's a new feature I did not do this before I still have zero idea what exactly do I get out of this if it's seeds or whatnot The problem is, I don't have botany as of now, so that can be problematic because I can get overcumbered, which would result in me having to, well, travel all the way back to the ship, which would just suck at this point. But this is what pretty much a lot of you are going to have to do, and this is where I think Having some sort of vehicle would uh, help out quite tremendously. And I'm gonna get pissed if Bethesda is gonna start making some DLC for vehicle, which should be already included in the game, and they're gonna charge pretty penny for it. Like, yeah, we released this game, we have been working for on it for the last 10 years, but... Nobody had the freaking brain to give you a goddamn scooter or something to hover around the surface. Because reasons. I don't know, that, that's kind of idiotic to me. Seems I have affliction from the assets. These things are 100% scanned. Okay, so let's try... Frozen Plains. I don't know what are the chances I'm gonna come across a different biome. Well, I'm definitely gonna come across a different biome. It's just, I have no clue uh, if there's gonna be the different plants. Because I'm supposed to scan flora. That thing has been scanned. Seventy five per cent, eighty eight. Yeah, I think I'll definitely be able to come across more of what I'm looking for in here. What's that weird beeping noise? Is it all the neon or something? I don't know if these gases are toxic. Water. Argon. 63%. 75. Frostbite has been gained. Okay, so I have multiple afflictions. But I have multiple aids. Voila. Still not gonna get me to the finish line. Don't wanna interact with those knuckleheads. Man, this planet has quite a lot of hostile creatures. What keeps making those weird noises? Just for the hell of it, argon and water. That's all I'm getting out of here. 
these have been 100% scanned. Hundred percent scanned. Okay, there's some sort of floating stuff. Thirteen percent. Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to keep my eye out for these floaty jellyfish. Some of them are super hot. Oh shit! They Will you knock the fudge off? I really don't want to fight with you knuckleheads. You, do you understand I don't need to do this? Yet you insist on pissing me off. <clears throat> Okay, well, one of them had at least some sort of resource which I need for something. Okay, I still have the afflictions. Stetus. Lung damage, prognosis poor. Freezing cold and snow. So I don't know if I need to go back on board of the ship, sleep for 24 hours. But I'm a knucklehead. Maybe I'll have a frozen toe or something cool like that. I'm missing five more creatures. It's just driving me nuts, to be honest with you. Maybe the wetlands are gonna have the last pieces of whatever. I just wanna finish this and then continue with the UC thingy. Or maybe it would be more logical for me to try and do the UC whatever have you. Now I have a different affliction. Or do I need to consume more of these... Uh Frostbite has been taken care of. What else is there? Okay. Long damage removed. Awesome. I'm so proud of myself. You cannot believe it. The problem here is I cannot see anything that would represent a scannable plant. These have been already scanned. And it's still just copper and water. Yep. Yeah. I have no clue where the hell to find these things, so let's get back to this. Uh, I'll probably do the scans afterwards because God knows that it's going to be stimulating like a fart in a tornado. Let's just go help out at Tau City. Should have probably landed on the goddamn planet. I guess we can run a scan. See, I told you, I used to have that suit, but I have replaced it with a better loot, which I came across. Acquire power, does this mean I'm gonna be messing with their outposts and building like solar panels or something? Because not every planet has optimal atmosphere to support either solar or wind. Holy shit, what the fuck happened here? I 
Hello? Anybody home? Anybody? Uh... Bunch, they have VHS tapes. Maybe in the future people are gonna believe that... It's like with vinyl that the the sound quality is just better. Uh, okay. Nothing. Furious Orion. What the fudge happened here? Okay, this is kind of brutal. Why did his hat have to twitch in such a weird way? Okay, so wind turbine is there. Someone blew up an entire ship. Uh, I don't want to take the express shortcut. Take the stairs, thank you very much. The fudge was that. Investigate the scream. Why do I want to investigate a scream? I'm here. Oh, what have you guys been up to in here? Hello. So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Uh, actually, uh, and the Vanguard sent me, though they failed to mention how bad things are. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. Sounds like you could use my help. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm gonna need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. Okay. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. I'm listening. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. I really wish I would have invested into those rifles. Oh, I came here to help settlers, not pay chew toy. What can you tell me about the security the system? The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. What's up with your... And there were also some sensors scattered around eyes. the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. Okay, all right, let's get that security Good. system back. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there, and make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. I, I feel like that weird creature which I saw at the museum, that might be what I'll be dealing with here. Uh, honestly, the pill bottles, uh...
Don't need those. Take the ammo. Okay, let's go hunt whatever the hell this is. Holy shit, that's a lot of turrets. What the hell were you guys expecting here? Like, if you know that there's some sort of dangerous freaking thing living here, why the hell would you set up an outpost in here in the first place? Is my stupid question. Stupidly obvious question. Uh, reset. Automated defenses. Tracking system. Security locks. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plants turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. But it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Okay, let's do 183.5. Okay, target detected, connecting payback. Trackers reading green. What's that sound? Lockdown is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move. Oh shit is that? Holy crap! Look, I wouldn't engage directly if you could avoid it. The kill lanes. They're set up but need power. There's breakers on each of the buildings you can throw to get them live. Once they're online, lead the Terramorph towards the lights and watch the fireworks. Give it hell, Vanguard. Yeah, I'm not feeling that optimistic. The fuck is that thing? We got killed in a matter of seconds. Looks like a little dragon of sorts. I don't know, the slow beeping is good, right? Are we going off like alien? I have no clue what I'm working with here. Beeping is slow. Ah, shit. Don't want to engage it outside like that. Holy crap, it's behind the doors.
I don't know where the hell that thing is. What the shit? Whoa! It can't go through fucking doors? Eat laser, bitch! Suck on that. The fuck are you made out of? Well, I guess I don't have to deal with all that bullshit. Uh, I guess it's dead. If you want to try your luck and taking a sample out of it. I'm not touching that thing. Freaking crazy. Damn, nearly got my ass chewed off. Crazy people always asking me for dumbass ideas and projects to do. Trekker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? Evans above, you just flatlined a terror morph. Not that difficult. Uh, thank you for saving my ass. I'm not too proud. Thank you for saving my ass. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? I got it. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. He's not telling me there's more of these mopos. I can deal with one. Yeah, that was enough. Paramorph. It's a weird name. Yeah, I still like Rackness from Starship Troopers more. was that lizard thing it killed? Let's give it a shot. I just click. Let's try it one more time. No, that one won't do the trick. Uh, this is gonna be annoying as hell. It's those damn expert locks.
This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But Terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, Terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means, we're either looking at a truly strange murder, or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Okay, sounds like we need to use something quick. Feels like a big leap. Terramorphs have taken down other colonies. How does... Not one no term wars get onto human worlds aren't they kind of hard to miss? Well they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. Okay. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. Sounds like we need to do something. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Sure. Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. Do you need medical Plus, help? Maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. I'm also a free star ranger, so I should have some sort of powers. Uh, don't worry, I'll make sure the commander agrees. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. A bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not a lot, but... You've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Thank you. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. All right. Terramorph. Now I'm all obsessed about going to scan whatever the hell I just it killed there. Because I haven't seen that species before. The frick is this dinosaur looking thing? They even call it Ankylosaur. But Ankylosaur was actual dinosaur on Earth in Cretaceous period. You know, those ones with that massive freaking mace at their tail? That's an Ankylosaur. Yep. 
And this thing just got killed like it's nothing. Where the hell did I kill? How the hell was it able to open the freaking door? It's just beyond me. But okay, so... If we want to continue this, we need to return to Alpha Centauri. And uh, explain to them what the fudge happened. Provide the name tag. And hopefully get the feedback we're looking for. And I think that should be a enough for the episode. I'll try to kind of switch it in between the factions, the main story and stuff like that. But, yeah, there's still one more faction which can be joined at least currently in my mission log. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. Okay, so I need your permission to deliver a Terramorph tissue sample to Morse. A Terror? What? How did you walk away with the Terramorph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? Yeah, you don't want to know. No survivors, sir. All lost to Terramorph, which I killed. Uh, things didn't go as advertised. Only one alive was the researcher who gave me a sample and the gene tag. Gene tag? Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data has been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as co-head of a UC Xeno weapons division. Faced, guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. Okay. Uh. So this might be actually your urgent mission then. Certainly seems that way. Did your survivor, Hadrian? She mentioned why she thinks this sample is so special. She's not sure what it means. She wants Dr. Walker on Morse to analyze it and confirm it's a threat. I... I see. This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you. Supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Ooh. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I suggest you move out. Okay, so Ultra Festival was super, or whatever that is. But we have the achievement, and I have officially joined the UC, so that was fun. So, yeah, except of the clusterfuck of situations that happened at the start, it turned into quite the interesting adventure. So, yeah, if you want to know how this adventure is going to continue, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out the channel for more content. I've been lately playing mostly Starfield, so hopefully I'll publish something else on the channel. But other than that, check it out. There's other content, 100 days in video games, and so on and such. So, yeah, see you all at the next one. Thank you all for watching, and bye-bye for now. And one of these days, I'll have to keep in mind that while I'm fighting some sort of alien, I'll have to press the scanner and go into the photo mod, which will be quite tricky to do. Quite tricky to do.